Hello, this is Nana from my back porch. Thank you for joining me today. You are all artists. Hello and welcome. This is Nana, and I'm here today to talk to you about a facet of one of the most famous men who ever lived, Winston Churchill, the artist. Did you know he was an artist? It was years before I knew anything more than his heroic grip of all things political and the logistics of the war in England with Germany. Years before I knew that he was an accomplished artist. If we go back in his early years, early meaning during a career change at the age of 40, Sir Winston Churchill took up an unexpected hobby, which was painting. He first picked up a brush at the suggestion of his sister-in-law, who was also a painter. He was intimidated by the very blank white canvas, actually just was frozen in terror at it. He placed a small dab of pale blue paint on the canvas in the corner to begin the sky because he thought, well, I'll just do a landscape. And then he was interrupted by the arrival of a Glasgow painter, Sir John Lavery, and his wife, Hazel. Hazel exclaimed excitedly, Oh, Winston, painting! But what are you hesitating about? She grabbed a brush and made a made large fierce strokes of blue on the absolutely cowering canvas now can you imagine that that the canvas was intimidated by this woman coming in with a great big brush and putting blue all over it so with that Churchill wrote in his diary, I seized the largest brush and fell upon my victim, which was the canvas, and with berserk fury and was awarded with the feeling that I had conquered it and I have never felt any awe of a canvas since. He painted many, many canvases. 550 still exist, primarily of landscapes and seascapes. And despite his claims that he was an amateur, he developed a real talent for art. His advice was very simple. Go outside and paint what you see. He did it for fun. He didn't take his paintings seriously. He was most fond of oils and pastels for their forgiving nature and bright colors. Just to paint is great, he said. Great fun. The colors are lovely to look at 
and delicious to squeeze out of the tubes. <laughs> it is believed that painting made Churchill a more effective leader, particularly thanks to improved powers of observation and the mem memory of the landscapes on visit to the front lines in the war. It helped him to develop an amazing ability to draw maps and battle plans. Are Sir Winston Churchill's pain paintings famous and valuable because of the man who made them? They're not at face value, but they remind us of the great joy of painting. He could have paraphrased Matthew in the New Testament. Happy are the painters, for they shall not be lonely. Light, color, peace, and hope will keep them company to the end, or almost to the end of the day. Thank you for joining me today. I've been in so enjoyed talking to you about Sir Winston Churchill. He's one of my favorite folks. And always remember that you are an artist. Love, Nana. Thank you for listening, artist friends. Please be sure to leave a review, or to share this with a friend. We invite you to join us in the You Are an Artist Clubhouse at chalkpastel.com, where we have over 700 video art lessons. And be sure to tag us on social media when you share photos of your paintings. We cannot wait to see. I'll be talking to you again soon. Love, Nana.